something. Let me see. How are we getting somebody in here? YouTube is not sending out notifications. That's what everybody said. It's crazy. So anyway, I bought these from Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description. And I've been, this is a new way of adding texture. I told you you can put them in silicone molds, air dry clay, and then it'll be pliable and you can put it around a jar when you decoupage and stuff. But I just saw this the other day and like what you can do is put that on there and you take this modeling paste, it's an acrylic polymer, and you put it on here with a palette knife, like that. And then you peel this away and it's raised and you let it dry and you can add paint or stain or whatever you want on it. Let's see, so that's how this is supposed to work. Let me just read this now. May be applied directly from the can to any non-oily surface including prime or unprimed canvas, wood, masonite, hardboards, paper boards, and paper. A painting knife or brush knife may be used to produce three-dimensional texture areas of any thickness in one application. So I'll put a link to this, but I saw the lady doing it, and I'm going to try it because I was going to use the silicone molds where you can make like a braid and then you put the air dry clay down for dimension. But I'm gonna try this. Now I wanna show you something. These were falling in the backyard and I looked up and I never remember seeing this. I have an American chestnut tree in the front, but it doesn't make chestnuts like this. Well, these things were falling down and then the tree was loaded with these. And I says, Jimmy, what is that? I've never noticed that tree before ever. And it's right where Ray planted this bamboo, right behind it, kind of. Never noticed it ever. And we, he brings one inside, and I look inside, and I say, my gosh, those are like chestnuts like you buy at Thanksgiving. And we look them up, and they are Chinese chestnuts. And look at them. Those are real chestnuts in there. But you cannot touch them. You, you cannot you, touch you, this. You it's, look them up. They'll, they'll like they're, Just to pick it up, it's, it sticks you to pick them up. You have to wear welding you know, gloves you, that's to, they use it. You know, they use the, to break uh, them apart. You, you could pick them up easy. If you have leather gloves, you could pick them up. But I, I don't think you could have to put pressure on them and uh, pry them apart because they will stick through uh, the gloves. But I never knew this was there, ever. I knew they were there. I, I kept away from them. I, first time I saw them, I like... I think one was stuck to one of the dogs or stuck, and I just grabbed it like, holy crap, it went right in my finger. And they have, like, the you can dogs see, don't mess around they have two there. or three chestnuts inside each one. Yeah, and so it's amazing. Some, these, maybe the, that's look at like these. a tiny one there, but it, then the yeah. other two might be bigger. You know, some of them are small, you, yeah, you, but they, you can actually roast them. Yeah, just like ch these like are chestnuts. chestnuts. I mean, it's you crazy. Can see them chestnuts roasted on an open I never fire. knew. I never knew we had these. I don't know how this got there because like i said the only chestnut i planted was an american chestnut and that's in the front and that makes these like almost like somebody thought they were butternuts they knew nothing like this let's see what are you doing let's see if i can get it open oh don't oh okay i thought you're gonna smash the nut no i was gonna try to get it open no you but need a welding glove to pull it okay he said counterclockwise you need a welding glove you have why don't you get yeah. your fireplace gloves? You can't do it with your fireplace gloves? Just pull it off like he said? With which gloves? Your fireplace gloves? I think I have a, I actually have some Kevlar, like, like. Kevlar? Yeah, like army police type gloves. I don't think you can get through that. Oh, gosh. I think Kevlar. Kevlar or Kevlar, I forgot Kevlar. what it is. Anyway, so, I set yeah. this right here. Yeah, but don't break the nut. Like, don't no, do the nut. Out. What Ooh. if they coming out? Hold on a minute. Come on. Oh, careful. Okay. This one is too, this, yeah. oh, there's, that's the good one. See, these, when they're like this, they're not good. You can put this out for the squirrel, um, but because they said it's not pollinated, but look at, here, let me see. See that? Here's another one over here, too. It's too small. Isn't that crazy? Let me get one, open this puppy out right here.
Look, that one had three. Ooh, Ooh, careful. I know. That had three, but it had two good ones in there, see? Yeah. So. Let's check out this one right here. Yeah, go to here. Ooh. This is a big one right here. Yeah, let, let careful. it. I just got stuck by the other These one. almost look like sea urchins. I don't know, but they are sharp. I'm telling you what. You can't, you can, let me see if I can pick it up without getting stuck by it. Yeah, I can pick it up. Like, yeah, it just stuck me a little bit right there. We should harvest they them. They're so sharp. Yeah. Harvest them. What yeah, do harvest them? them off there. And do what with and, and, them? And yeah. No, and eat them and give them some to Rocky. I don't know. I like I chestnuts. Know. I'll try them sometimes. Maybe. Yes. The butt. You gotta think oh, no, they're them. not. You just yeah, make a little you, you make a little them. cross on them and you oh, roast them. I know. It's a pain in the butt. It's not a pain in the butt. They're so good. It's too. No, it's not. Yeah, I'll see if it's worth it. Oh, stop it, Jimmy. I just want to see if they're worth it. Well, I know they are. I haven't had all things since I was a little kid. It's not about those dirty Ow, flies. Ow, I just got stuck by that thing right I there. I know, it is. You better be careful. Just not I just thing. can't believe these were in the backyard. Are, I mean, I've down. never seen these before. You stuck. Jimmy keeps saying he's seen them. I think I he's seen, seen them. Many times, well, don't do it with the pliers. I'll, I know, I'm not, not going to pliers. Here, well, you, you are. Just let it shake it there. There. Yeah, I saw him many, many, many times. I saw him. Never. I never really noticed him when he broke open like that. I saw him down there a lot. Saw they the were just falling off. off the tree today. I'll put these out for the school. Yeah, it says they fall off in the fall and they'll th start to open. That's when you get them out. Otherwise, you know, that's when they're ripe anyway. Let me get. Let I'll throw those out. outside for the squirrel. Maybe the squirrel will eat them. Who knows? The squirrel's going to say, yeah, I'm not eating. I'll go right back there and get the good one. Huh. You better carefully. Well, who knows? Yeah. They, like I know where the tree is. I'll give them the little squirrel. Let's, let's, let me give them the rocky. Oh, sorry, Michael. So yeah, these are the chestnuts, and that we I didn't even know that um, we had. I'm giving this to Rocky right now. I don't know if can he have a raw chestnut. You better check in on this food thing. Okay. Just make sure. Check it. Okay. I don't see anything big in here. Which one are you gonna give to him? Let me see. A good one. Oh yeah, five hundred of them probably. Yeah. Good let's one. see. Maybe Rocky really likes them. Yeah. Let's see. Then you'll harvest well, them. I don't think he'll be worried about like. If it was roasted, raw or roasted, you know, I mean, it's like they're, they're, they grow out there. And I'm sure that this is three pretty, look like three nice ones in here. Let's see. Hang on. Here, I'll help you out with this. Let me see. No, I don't think you can do it with that. Let's see. One more here. Look, that had three, that had three full size right in it. That's, that's like a jackpot winner. Oh, you do not really know how freaking sharp those things are. Uh, they definitely have a good defense system on them. There they are. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Um, they, they look really cool. They kind of look like um, moss balls, right? But they're very, very sharp. Look at that. Extremely, extremely sharp. Touch it. Yeah, you can grab, I don't even know what this little tail is. I wonder if those are, I wonder what the little tail on the balls is. You know? Why? Wonder what this little tail is about. Why does that thing feel like that? Oh, you don't want to touch it, Luke. It's, it's, it's very, very, very prickly. Let me get these out here and I'll rest. I can't believe I would, I have to ask Michael, I know Ray would have mentioned the, these to me because we had that Amer we have that American chestnut in the front and I took, I'll show you something. They have really sticky, the American chestnut and we planted the American chestnut. Um, it didn't grow here, you know, naturally. And I don't know anyone else in the area that has one of these. Okay. Get this up off the floor for me. Watch out, Luke. Don't step on that. Yeah, don't step on that. Look. And it's just so weird that I've never seen them. And the other day when I was walking around, I saw a birch tree and it had something weird on it that I've never seen on a birch tree. And I showed it to Jimmy. And what did you do with that thing? I think I put it over here. Because I said I had to look it up. And I was like, what the heck? 
and we looked it up. I, uh, it's driving me nuts because I've never seen. Jim, Luke, have you ever seen these around the house before? See, I think that's maybe. I've never I've seen, seen them. Seen like things around the house. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Pick that Hold on. Pick that up. Well, I'll pick it up in a minute. I want to get this one first. You can't pick it up with your hands. Use one of these pliers. Hang on a minute, guys, and I'm going to do the other, the other little thingy. Don't hurt. My brother and his wife were up today, and when I was going for my bike ride, they had a bag full of mushrooms and a bag full of uh, like ferns, all kinds of stuff because his son and wife and kids are coming up and their kids are, well, their youngest one is Ethan's age. And then they have one that's two years older, but his wife is a science teacher. And I don't know, I imagine it was for that. I said, are you gonna eat those mushrooms? And my brother's like, no, we're using them. We wanna go, go back to the house and identify them. <laughs> I said, okay, sounds like fun. And then I saw my sister-in-law had like a big bag of like ferns and stuff in it. So they said they were foraging in the woods. And I only wish I knew about these because they would have gotten a blast of the show tomorrow. But uh, that's just crazy. And I really, I don't ever remember seeing that at all, ever. I just want to get all this away so we can do our craft and we won't get stuck. So we're going to try this, um, it's going to be tried live, and we'll see how it goes. The lady that I saw doing it doesn't speak English, and so she doesn't say anything in her videos, and so it's hard to see what she's using. It looks like she's using a spray adhesive with this, and but I'm not going to use that. And then it looks like she almost cut her... Um, Stencils. And what I'm going to do is just, well, I guess, I guess you could cut it, each one, and I'm going to try that. Okay. So that you have this. And it, it looks like she's put a spray adhesive, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and I can't believe how perfectly that fits. I'm not going to put a spray adhesive. What I'm going to do... Well, let me see if I want to lift it. Maybe I'll just put a little tape here because I think it'll stay. I'm not going to go crazy with that. Okay, so I'm going to open up this modeling stuff and look, it looks like cold cream. Okay, now, cold cream, that's a... Oh, I just saw her, she goes like this. She kind of goes like this. Where's Davida when you need her? I'm getting ready to fail on on live TV. Hi. Yeah. Usually a rocky won't wake up, you know. Uh-huh. You sleeping? They like look at you, go out, go back in, you can't give them anything. I, I uh, put that uh, chestnut vine, uh -huh. he grabbed it with two hands. Really? Yeah, grabbed it, he grabbed it with his, you know. And he's allowed to have it? Yeah. This is, you know what I'm saying, they'll grab, they'll collect uh, all types of nuts and they name chest, said chestnuts. You know, so I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like I'm sure that they, they, you know, they would know not to eat it. It just grows out there where they where they hang out at. We go thing like that with you, right? 
What? We picked it up? Yeah. Okay, now, this would be fun. Let me get a glove on because it looks like she pulls it right off when it's wet. That's what it looks like. I don't know, guys. I wish Davida was on the phone because I really don't know about this. I might have to go back to the air dry clay method. And I don't think I need this tape on at all. And I'm going to clean this up. Let's see. Get this off here. Okay. She just goes, oh, look. Not bad for the first try. Okay, let me put that here. I want to clean up. What? You can't take that. Why not? There's one up there. Yeah, we don't have any of these that made a metal like this. Mm -hmm. Think of now. Well, don't lick that. Are. Did you lick that? No, I banged it against my tooth. Banged it against your tooth. You can see if it's metal. I think it's really hard. Like, I don't know what do you call it. Just uh, some composite stuff. Throw the metal inside it. But whatever, it's very, very hard. I think you can run it over and you can mess it up. Okay, so. so. So we just have to let that dry and then that'll that'll be really nice when it's either painted or you use the tool stuff. Now we can maybe try one Kisses. over here. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Hold on one sec. What? Kisses. Oh. Thank you. All right, let me wipe this off. I mean, can I show them this box first real quick? The what? This box. Let me show them. Here's the, one of the boxes that Carolyn made that I was trying to tell you guys about yesterday. I thought... I didn't even plan for that to match like that. It was only I my second time. Out. Like, look at that. Everything just matches. Everything's perfect. You know, like... Uh, I see the butterfly in it. Oh, because you open it up. The butterfly. I wonder what's inside. Let's look. Oh, little baby. But it's really nice to do there. Yeah, how did that happen? I don't know. Nice. Okay, so. And then, see, and then that'll dry. I really don't want to mess it up, but. Um, and then I can go around, like, on the side and do the sides. I mean, we could try. We could try it like this, I guess. Um, but she uses like this little spray adhesive stuff. And just, um, let's see, you know, it's gotta go this way. So she uses this spray adhesive. 
think that's what it is. She doesn't speak English, and so you don't know what she's doing. But she puts it on like that, and I don't know what to do here. I'm wondering if I should just, if I, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up my front one. I'm just afraid I'm going to mess it up right now until it dries. But you get the idea and you can use any kind of stencil. You can use like, um, they have stencils like this with the little brackets. You know, if you want it, you know, that sometimes they take these kind of boxes and they put these ornate brackets, but they're really stencils in this. And then they do them like in a gold or a silver or pewter or something like that. But this is what I wanted to do with like the air dry clay around the jars and everything that you decoupage. So like, um, of course I put my jars away, but if you have a jar and you're gonna decoupage it, you can do that. And then the other thing I wanted to show, I forgot to show Danielle and Kubi. If you have a sponge or better yet, these daubers, these are what you use to paint your jars and it comes out so much better. And I forgot to tell you guys that yesterday. But, so I do give this, I wasn't even sure of what to buy because she didn't speak English and they didn't have the brand she was using. But I just got these stencils with these different borders. And these are on Amazon. And like I said, I will put a link. I'll put a link to it. And then I got this. Let me cover this up. It's called, let me just cover this up here. Speedball acrylic polymer, non-toxic, highly flexible, dries without cracking, easy to use directly from the jar, this modeling paste, and this is a 16 ounce jar. And that's a really good price on that too. So I will put the links in the video description, but what do you guys think? Yeah, Bridget, they're so easy for painting the jar. I'm just, let me just wash my um, knife here, my cutting knife. I'm really glad. I mean, I did that. I have never done that before, and I did it for the first time on camera. Pretty excited about that. I will let you know how that comes out. But, make sure my counter. That's uh, a way to, you can get all kinds of different stencils and embellish your boxes or your jars or things like that with it. So, Okay. Hi, Kelly B. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Kelly B. Thank you. And thank you. If someone else gave one and I missed it, thank you. I'll see it later. I've been rushing over here, but how does that... Do you guys like that? Do you guys think that's easy to use? Would you use it on your projects to make them, um, to embellish them? You can paint it, you can stain it. You know, with the gel stain, it, it's really nice. I'm going to do it on, I'm going to do it on all four, uh, three, four, no. Yeah, I might do it on the back. I don't know. But then I might do something else. 
there. No. I think it, yes, my daughter told me. Ah, uh, thank you to, let's see. Thank you, babe, love. Babe Lee, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm calling you babe, love. Did you used to be babe, love? I think that stuff is pretty good. And there's a lot of other applications for it. I think that's neat. Yeah. You can do it on cans, on the cans you decoupage, because the, you know, the stencil is flexible. I do have spray adhesive, like from the Dollar Tree, like that you pump on, it comes in a little pump. Maybe I should use that to put the stencil down and then it'll let it come up and you don't have to use tape or anything. And you can buy all kinds of little stencils. And you know what else? You want to know something? You can print your own stencils if you have a Cricut maker. And that's why I just got a little package because I said if it works, I will print my own stencils, like brackets and things. But I think it's easier than the air dry clay, even though I never did the air dry clay. Because I love you always, babe Lee. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's see. You. So I think that's cool. And I really wish um, Scooter would teach me how to do the Cosmo. But she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to show me how to do the Cosmo. doesn't want to show me how to do it. Let me see if there's anything else I can tell you. But yeah, much, much easier to do a jar with, with those daubers. Yeah, you can buy the plastic dividers at the Dollar Tree. The plastic dividers, who's saying that? Uh, Nanate, plastic dividers at the Dollar Store and cut them on the Cricut. Yeah, which plastic dividers now? Dividers for what? Tell me, because I know there was something, I but I forget what it was. What kind of divider? Not like a notebook divider. I have vellum, and I think you can use vellum, right? Hi, Muppets in Manilow, how are you? Yeah, I have vellum. For those of you that are just joining, I'll show you what I just did. And I've never done it before, and I did it live here for the first time. I used this. I watched this lady. She doesn't speak English. She's in some other country. I think she's in, like, maybe Poland or, oh, gosh, Romania. I'm not even sure. And so there's no subtitles she doesn't speak in there, and all of the products are not available in the United States. So I had to watch her, and then I had to find the closest products I could that were available in the United States, okay? So there was a feat in and of itself, but she has really great videos, even though there's no speaking and nothing's in English. So I got this modeling paste, and then I got these like border stencils is on Amazon. I'll put a link there. And then what you do is you just put the stencil down on your piece and you just put in a little bit of this and it doesn't even look like, it looks like it's flush. It's like, oh, it's never going to be 3D. And then you pull it up immediately and you get something like that. And then you can um, paint it, stain it, do whatever you want. Oh, Nancy McMichael, thank you for becoming a deputy rambler. So that, that'll be really cool. It'll dry and it's uh, easy to use. It dries without cracking. It's highly flexible. It's non-toxic. And it may be applied directly from the can. It's not a can, it's a plastic container. To any non-oily surface, including primed or unprimed canvas. Oh, so you can use it on canvas too. That would really... If you decoupage a canvas, that would really look nice. So it says, um, primed or unprimed canvas wood masonite 
hard boards, paper boards, and paper. A painting knife or brush may be used to produce three dimensional textured areas of any thickness. Now, when they use it on a canvas, okay, they also use it on a canvas to, and they decoupage on it. They kind of like um, swirl it around so it looks, you know, it's not a flat surface. And then I've seen her decoupage right on top of that. So then it really looks like an oil painting when you're done because it has that, the texture, they texture the canvas with it. So totally cool. And then if you miss the discovery of chestnuts in our yard, that's really amazing thing. I never knew we had chestnuts in our yard, crazy. Okay. Um, just crazy and Rocky loves them. Rocky's like, I've been waiting for these. Okay. So that is what I have. What time is it? It's quarter of 12. Okay. But I hope that was, uh, I don't know. I hope you guys like that. And then the, my other tip was I forgot to tell Danielle and Kubi. These are, you can get these at the Dollar Tree, but any, if you don't can't, if you don't have this, any kind of a sponge, and do your jars like that. When you paint your glass jars, it'll be a lot easier than using a brush because a brush tends to take off paint as easy as you take it on there. I've taken it on there, paint it on there. Okay. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I think that's it. Do I have anything else to say? I don't think I have anything else to say right now. Um, no, I don't think so. Those sponges seem like they would be way better. They are way better, yeah. They are way better. I, uh, I wanted to show, I thought I had something to show. Um, Let me see. See, nobody's getting notifications either for any of the videos. I did put up um, Lori's video and I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch it, but I have, um, whose do I have? I have Alex's video. And are you guys interested going on a live and then um, me playing like Alex's video on there? I don't know if you want to do that. There's really nothing new um, with the search for Brian Laundry today. The only thing new is that the police definitely don't have Gabby's phone or Brian's phone from the trip. I guess they just have the data that they could subpoena. But um, yeah, and that, that falls in line with what I thought. That's a Mod Podge or something right there. Yeah, and I'm trying to think. No notifications, I know they're not coming through. So there's nothing really new on the laundry front at all. That would be good. You want to do that? All right. Give me a few minutes and then I'll be on. Um, I can't remember if it's that polymer stuff. And I'll be on on the other side, okay? All right. Love you guys. Who's Eric? Who's Eric? I don't know who Eric is. Who's Eric? Did I, I said Alex. Alex Cox. He's Lori Daybell's brother. The one that shot her husband, Charles Vallow. I don't know if you follow the Vallow Daybell. Okay, good. Well, I'll put that on. Um, all right, I'll be there in a few minutes. All right? All right, bye.